If you've been struggling with getting good results from GPT-5, this video will fix that. I'm showing you the ultimate five prompt hacks that transform mediocre AI outputs into stuff you can actually use. This is practical, fast, and built for people who need results today. Let's go! Hey, Alex here from Grit AI Studio. Let's be clear, GPT-5 is incredibly powerful, but also very picky. If you're explicit, it's incredible. If you're fussy, it's frustrating. We'll hit five tips with copy blocks that you can paste straight into ChatGPT. Templates are all in the description below. So let's talk about what changed in GPT-5 and why your prompts need an upgrade. First of all, GPT-5 is hyper steerable. It follows instructions with surgical precision. Great when your prompt is clear, but quite risky when it's contradictory. It separates thinking and speaking. You can ask it to think more or less and talk more or less. And it's more agentic. Great at planning, tool use and long context, but only if you set guardrails. The bottom line is really generic asks underperform. Clear contracts, explicit depth, and structured outputs win. So tip number one, be specific. Design explicit, structured, and contradiction-free instructions. In essence, vague in, vague out. The key is to be specific. Replace fussy asks with concrete numbers, constraints, budget, time frame, audience, and be explicit about tone, style, and output. Make sure you eliminate contradictions and set precedents for edge cases. You can also ask it to clarify any contradictions before proceeding. This might seem a bit over the top, but an easy way to be specific is to start every prompt with a tight nine line contract along these lines. Role, ops lead. Goal, draft a weekly project update. Audience, execs, skim readers. Must haves, less than 150 words. Plain language, no acronyms. Success criteria, three bullets, done, doing, blocked, one clear ask. Precedence rules, if word count versus completeness clash, keep to less than 150. Stop condition, after sections plus ask are present. Output format, subject plus context, done, next, ask. Task, write the email now. Tone and style, Calm, direct, no hype. And then paste in your context. Be specific. Define voice, length, format, and edge case rules. To save yourself some time, you can add this as a project with project instructions, and it'll help you fill in the template for you. Tip number two, control thinking versus speaking, or reasoning effort versus verbosity. GPT-5 will decide itself unless we tell it to, so it will judge how hard it should reason. But we can tell GPT-5 how hard to think and how much to say. You'll get the right depth at the right speed. They did update so that you can change the level from the model picker, but you can also explicitly ask in your prompt. You can control the level of reasoning with language like this. Think a bit, think harder, or ultra think. Ultra think, for instance, would give you maximum depth for complex tasks. Think a bit, fast, good enough answers. Instant gives us pretty shallow answers to complex prompts like this one that would require both research and analysis to give a proper answer. Switching to thinking or even the pro mode for research grade intelligence gives us vastly better results. In this case, it thinks and researches for more than six minutes before returning a comprehensive analysis to us. Speaking or verbosity can be controlled like this, low, medium, or high. You can also explicitly say less than five bullets, summary plus three sections, or full brief with headings. In essence, separate how hard it thinks from how much it says. 
Remember that you can customize the personality and traits of your chat GPT. A lot of users reacted negatively to the tone of GPT-5 versus 4. So remember to adjust your settings to the style that you prefer. Thoughtful and supportive or critical and sarcastic, it's all up to you. Tailor it to your likings. Tip number three, build in planning, iteration, and self-evaluation in your instructions. GPT-5 does better when you ask it to plan first, iterate, and self-grade without dumping a wall of inner monologue. Here's an example that you can use. Before answering, decompose the task into core parts. Flag ambiguities, proceed with reasonable assumptions. Outline a step-by-step -step plan, validate the plan against the success criteria. You can also ask for a brief reasoning summary upfront. Start with three to five bullets summarizing your approach before the final answer. This is actually especially handy if you're using minimal reasoning, it just seems to stabilize the quality. The OpenAI team recommends utilizing a self-critique loop for better results. We can ask it to create a private five to seven point rubric for excellent task. Return only the best version and end with assumptions and open risks. In essence, plan, validate, execute, and review, and provide a short summary up top. Tip number four, use structure, like JSON or XML. GPT-5 loves structure, so make sure you use it to your advantage. A popular structure is JSON, but you do not need to be technical or even understand JSON to use it. I've found that it does not really matter if you use JSON or XML or even Markdown, as long as you provide structure that GPT-5 can adhere to. Any clear schema works. Markdown headings, simple tables, or XML style tags. Structure reduces ambiguity and keeps outputs predictable. So instead of just pasting a bunch of context, make it clear what is your instructions and what's the additional information or context that you're providing. You can also apply this for guiding output and formatting. Just be specific. A pro tip is to use it to capture your language style in JSON. Then save that in your preferences to ensure GPT-5 always writes in your style. And remember, you can always ask GPT-5 to propose a format and help you structure something into JSON or XML. Tip number five, meta prompting and the prompt optimizer. This one almost feels like cheating. Use GPT-5 to rewrite your prompt or make use of the prompt optimizer provided by OpenAI to optimize your prompts for GPT-5 based on their own best practices. Meta prompting is a super powerful technique that you can use when a result misses. In essence, ask ChatGPT, from your perspective, what specific changes to my prompt would most reliably produce the desired behavior and avoid the undesired one? And paste in what you wanted and what you got, and then just end it with return a revised prompt that I can paste plus three bullet reasons for the change. Or you can use the actual OpenAI optimizer. This one is a bit hidden and intended for developers, but don't worry, anyone can use it. Just log in, paste your existing prompt or a draft prompt that you're working on and ask for an optimized version. It will apply the OpenAI best practices for GPT-5 prompts to your prompt for you. We've previously done a video on the Anthropic console that you can check out up here. You can also download a simple prompt optimizer from the description below. Create a project with these instructions and there you have your very own easy to access prompt optimizer inside ChatGPT. And finally, a few bonus hygiene tips for you. Wrap long pasted text in triple backticks or tags. 
Remove contradictions, add precedence rules for edge cases. If latency matters, use quick mode and a short what I did summary. Need more depth? Add a gentle nudge. Think harder or double check your work. And there you have it. Let's recap the ultimate five. One, be specific. Two, control thinking versus speaking. Three, plan, iterate, and self-evaluate. Number four, use structure. And finally, five, meta prompting and the prompt optimizer. Everything I've shown you is in the description below. Templates, tag blocks, and copy-paste prompts. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe for more AI tips and tricks. Feel free to drop a task that you want me to turn into a great prompt next. I'll pick a few for the next AI at Work episode. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the next one.